So welcome everybody. It's funny because when I entered before, when I left the room was 11 people, now they are 23. Very quickly, response to that. Uh, so I'm really happy because we have the second success stories go live. And at the same time, I'm a bit sad because we had a meeting uh, today for the Ambassador's Tax Force online meeting and we're saying that this week would be the prize ceremony in Brussels and unfortunately there is no prize ceremony this year because of all the things that happened. But we go on and we keep, you know, we resist on everything and we try to do things. We still have online communication, so this is really something. And uh, we have here two projects, uh, that two awarded projects, uh, second prize, runner-ups, uh, in the age category 12 to 15. So we have, uh, we'll start with uh, Veronique Sarere from uh, France with uh, Stories and History, which was awarded two years ago, and I was really happy because I was there in Brussels during uh, the award ceremony, and I'm also happy because in that project, uh, a Greek teacher and the also ambassador is uh, involved, and uh, after that we are going to have to we are going to have uh, to be present to present another project by Athanasia Papachristou, uh, who won uh, the runner-up prize this year, but unfortunately she didn't have the chance, you know, to go and take her award. Uh, but we, she will get her award and all the teachers who got a prize this year they will get the award uh, in Athens during the European conference. So this is something. So I don't want to say more. I just want to thank them for sharing with us you know, some tips and some interesting points of their project that can be useful for all of us. So Veronique, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Irene. Um, so good evening. My name is Véronique and I'm the librarian of my school. I teach in the southeast of France in a secondary school with uh, pupils from 11 to 15. I'm also an e-twinning ambassador and I am very pleased to present this project because, uh, because of the topic and I was really moved when I work on it with my students and my partners and I hope my English will be clear enough for you to understand the whole presentation. So, Stories in History deals with the life of children during the Second World War. This project lasted nine months and uh, it was the second e-twinning project for our students. We were 14, 15 and uh, in year 10. Thanks to this project, uh, students realized the importance of exchanging with European partners of the same age in English and sharing experiences. They had a leading role in the organization of this project, they had responsibilities and uh, they learned a lot from each other. So as Irene told you, in this project we were three partners, Mirka from the Czech Republic, uh, she was my very first e-twinning partner and uh, I think that if I'm still working on e-twinning it's uh, thanks to her support and uh, Dora from Greece uh, who were a very, very creative and really able partner. So what does this project aim at? Uh, we wanted to give our students the opportunity to learn history in a different way and uh, increase their interest in this subject. Um, in fact, we did a, lot, a sort of long history common lesson and it was very challenging for the three countries. Uh, we wished our students to improve their language skills in English and especially for this project, all the vocab vocabulary of war. We wanted them to develop the 21st century skills by using ICT tools for sharing information, for publishing, editing, commenting. Um, they also developed teamwork skills as well as collaborative skills and uh, critical thinking skills when selecting and organizing information on the chosen topics. 
this uh, project was successful because we fully integrated it into the curriculum of our students. Uh, I work very closely with the teachers uh, from different subjects, such as the art teacher, uh, the French teacher, and of course the history and English teacher. And I think it made sense for the students to work on a project in different subjects. Um, during the whole project to boost students' motivation and creativity, they had to prepare presentations using different tools and then create tasks and activities for their partners. Um, and of course, they have to solve the task prepared for them by, by their partners. For the ice-breaking activity, Knowing Me, Knowing You, each partner decided to use the tool students wanted to work with. Uh, on this slide, you can see that they introduced themselves through presentation with Prezi, and they also sent their partners interactive hot potatoes crosswords. Uh, concerning the French students, uh, they made collage and videos using Windows Movie Maker and Audacity and uh, they did a game uh, called Spot the Lie. Uh, this game consisting in finding the lie either in the collage or the recorded text and then uh, fill up the grid in the wiki of the twin space. Um, so after the introductory stage we focused on the historical context in the wartime. Um, all of us gather a lot of ma material and um, th these materials uh, were used to create a set of presentations on different topics such as um, daily life in the early 40s, food and shopping, resistance, the children in the war. This period was quite a challenge, uh, maybe not very exciting for the students, but it was necessary for the project. So they had to look for classified and choose materials and translate it all in English. Uh, on this slide, you can see um, that our Greek partners did two small films, about uh, one about everyday life in the 40s in northern Greece and uh, in the second film they became reporters and they did a documentary uh, which included uh, six interviews of war witnesses. Uh, so they shared a lot of historical facts and photos uh, narrated in Greek with uh, subtitles in English. The following task was to find out more about some political leaders of that time. Um, the Greek students presented Winston Churchill using Glockster. Uh, Charles de Gaulle with the timeline was the task of the Czech students and uh, the French students presented Adolf Hitler through an e-book using Calameo and uh, they also watched part of the film Chaplin the Dictator and uh, answered a set of questions created by the students using um, a Google form. Uh, I was very very pleased because uh, some, of my, some of my students decided to present this movie Chaplin uh, during their final exam in history of art in France. Uh, then, of course, as the topic was uh, children during the Second World, World War, well, we decided to find more about Anne Frank. Uh, so they, they look for information from the internet about her life. In France, uh, they read the whole book during French lessons and um, all the partners read parts of the book in English in the simplified version. Um, we were all very, very moved by the story and uh, we, felt like, we felt that um, we would like to respond to it. So we started a Linoit notice board, as you can see on this slide, 
where all of us shared Anna's and her family's photos and commented on them. Um, our students also wrote diary pages as if they, they were in Anne's shoes and um, the Czech students decided to, to make this tree uh, where they, they, they wrote encouraging messages to Anne when she was living in the annex. Um, in March, in the Czech Republic, students met an elderly lady, Mihaila Vidlakova, who survived the Terezin ghetto. She was uh, invited by the history teacher and uh, spoke about her life in the ghetto and they share with us all this information. And uh, we also discovered Thanks to our partner, another extraordinary person, Sir Nicola Winton, who organized uh, the rescue of children from uh, Nazi-occupied Czechoslovakia uh, in an operation later known as the Czech Kinder Transport. This uh, activity was our final activity. Uh, we wanted our students to discover our nas national places of remembrance and um, to share some of them with their partners in an interactive way. For this activity, they used the tool ThinkLink and uh, they devoted very a lot of time uh, to make this final uh, because they work on this activity over a period of four weeks. So we ask them to, to list the main places of remembrance and then in groups of two they had to choose one of the places listed and they had to create short videos with pictures, comments in English and other free music. And of course we remind them all about copyright and they had to acknowledge their sources. Hello. So it's not a very nice map of France, I agree, but um, as they wanted to create a game on it, they needed information uh, concerning the numbers and names of the French departments. And uh, they did a game who work, uh, which worked as follows. Um, our students had to write uh, two historical uh, riddles about their videos using clues and they selected uh, 10 stop anywhere in France and uh, asked our partners to find them by solving the riddles. And at the end, our Czech and Greek partners decided to, to, de to, to make their own um, interactive map. Um, during the, the whole project, our students had also the opportunity to make school trips, go to visit exhibitions and, um, and ceremonies. In February, our Greek partners visited a photo exhibition in the library of CER to learn historical facts about the Balkan Wars. And on the 28th of April.
represented also Cult. to this ceremony knee of deep Body. Uh, Austin. in tout le monde. South of France.
they were Uh, they were really Can you hear me? Uh, yes, Veronique, uh, I would like to ask something. I would like to yes. tell me yes. that is, uh, it was, uh, how, I mean, because I had uh, the opportunity to see, you know, your project and your project and all the activities in more detail. Uh, so how did we find, you know, the whole experience that people, uh, according to the country they come and according to the things they read, the different things they read, they get a, a different perspective of history. So did they understand this? Have, have they understood that? That was, you know, the whole feeling, the reaction for them. Mihaila Vidlakova uh, narrated the uh, students sometime uh, earlier. I presented a uh, visit uh, in, the, in our previous slide. So I was saying uh, that uh, in that project, the students the had the opportunity to see that uh, the history, that how we perceive history, is different work, according to what we read, according to the country that we come from. Uh, so how, you know, did we, re did we really realize that, uh, you know, all these differences and, you know, to be more uh, skeptical about the things they read and how history... Starting point of our, uh, of our important event, uh, the organi organization of uh, European Week. Um, this uh, this event is for the whole school, and it was also extending to two classes from the primary school. Um, so my students uh, took the responsibility of presenting in French and in English of explaining what they did, of organizing exhibitions. Uh, they were show, showing their productions. And uh, at the end of the presentation, I will show you um, a very short movie with pictures about this event for you to have uh, an idea. Uh, with the end of uh, the school year, it was time to evaluate the project and say goodbye to each other. So for the, the evaluation, the survey yes, made in thank you. Uh, survey monkey. I don't know if there is <coughs> more question, if there are more questions. And uh, the but I think that it's really nice, you know, as a topic space, history and, and uh, to, say to see how everybody from different. It, it's a really important and, uh, topic, and it's really nice to see how the same thing, you know, the same historical events are perceived in different countries. Work, what are the differences? How we we think of of, of all these things. So, but we and I, I liked the beginning the when you said, and it, I don't say, I really remember what exactly was writing, but I we say that the, if we don't know our history, then we the do the same mistakes. I don't remember who said that, but I think it's true. It's totally true. And, uh, and we will have a lot of information concerning, mm -hmm. concerning all the project activities. So I'm going to show you the, the movie about the European week. Yeah, and we could see that. We could see that for sure. And you won a prize, so you had a good time because, and also, you know, you had a prize, so it was even better. Uh, I'm just trying to read the question there. Uh, ask.
Okay, so as you can see, it was a, a great e-training project and we really enjoyed working together. So if you have any question, just ask and I will try to, to answer them. Hello. <laughs> so I'm just waiting to see what Valentina and yes. Irene is writing. Mm. My project lasted nine months during the, the whole school, chat, school, school year and my students who were 14, 15 in year 10. Can you hear me? Are there more questions uh, for Veronique? Yes. 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 Great. So I think it was a really interesting project and you can all get ideas and I, I can't hear you can you. use history in the twinning projects quite Irene, well. I can't hear you very properly. Sorry, I couldn't hear the whole question. So you still have one more question from Durata.
Yes. Yes. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Let me let me. My name is uh, Athanasia Papachristou. My friends call me Nancy. I live in uh, Thessaloniki, a, a wonderful city of northern Greece. I'm a teacher of uh, Greek language and literature, and uh, for the nine last years, an ICT trainer as well. I really enjoy experimenting with uh, new teaching methods uh, in order to make my lessons more interesting for my students. And uh, after 25 years of teaching, I think that sharing is the best way of learning. For this reason, I would like to thank Irene for the opportunity to share with all of you the experience of our training project. And uh, then, of course, I would like to thank everyone of you great teachers that you are here today with us. So let's uh, begin our presentation. Last school year, 2014-2015, we ran an e-twinning project with the title Time Capsule 2014-2114. That means 100 years after. Teachers and students from 10 countries and uh, 13 schools have cooperated in this project. Teachers and uh, students from Poland, France, Norway, Brasilia, Portugal, Romania, Spain, Turkey, Czech Republic, and Greece. The starting point for the project was the information that a time capsule of 1914, hidden in Boston City Hall, has been found and opened after 100 years. It was really necessary to explain to uh, it was really necessary to explain to the students uh, what a time capsule is. Uh, specifically, my students in Greece uh, didn't have a clue about, so they googled the term time capsule in order to get familiar with the whole concept. What was uh, the basic aim of our project? Students had to make a time capsule and to bury it during the spring of 20. 15, somewhere in the surroundings of the school. The time capsule would contain mainly letters to future generations, written by students of European schools, but also various items and objects of uh, symbolic value. More specifically, further aims of the project were to think about the consequences of our today actions on the citizens of tomorrow, to prepare students to be citizens of a multilingual society in which, on the one hand, awareness of, respect for diversity, and interest in other cultures are vital, and, uh, on the other hand, the ability to communicate with speakers of other languages is a much-valued skill. To understand uh, that uh, we are all interconnected and that the survival and the further development of our planet is based uh, on the value of a peaceful and creative cooperation. We posed several questions to our students, such as What uh, do you consider important to be communicated about you, your city, your country, your culture? Europe, and generally about the world. 
what kind of information do you want to give about dreams, worries, problems of your generation? What kind of objects do you want to put in the time capsule and for what reason? We decided to use experiential and cooperative uh, learning which encouraged the critical thinking of students and uh, led to the creation of the final product. Furthermore, we have tried to make uh, creative use of ICT and more specifically of TwinSpace and Web2. At this point, uh, I would like to mention that uh, the new interface of TwinSpace is really amazing. We have used it in order to share our ideas, to organize the various activities of the project, to upload the results of our work, and of course, to give and to take feedback. Our students have uh, used TwinSpace as well, a spare time, in, in order to communicate with their peers and uh, learn about the activities of the other schools. We have used the interactive whiteboards for commentary and for critical appraisal of the activities of both the Greek and uh, the other teams. In particular, we have used uh, the following Web2 tools. We have used Padlet for the photo contest at the as evaluation board by the Greek teams, Tricider to record, comment and criticize the opinions or the views on the selection of the time capsule items, Blogger for publishing the results of our activities, SurveyMonkey for the photo contest and for the final evaluation of the project, Scrap Coloring in order uh, each student to color the mascot of the project, Animoto at YouTube for video creation, Wixcom for the website creation in order to publish the outcomes of our project, and Calameo for the electronic edition of the book with the letters of the partner schools. It is very important to say that uh, the project managed to activate and uh, inspire a large number of our school students. The fact that several activities of the project were integrated in the curriculum contributed significantly to the students' active participation. More specifically, the project was integrated into the teaching process of the following courses. First of all, language. One of the main objectives of the project was the development of writing skills of, of students, in particular letter writing. Another aim of the project was uh, the development of the ability of argumentation and deductive reasoning through presentation and elaboration of views and opinions, uh, and opinions on uh, topics like uh, current economy, social or cultural life. Second, history. Within a cooperative and experiential framework as a learning process, students were able to understand what immediate historical source means and how the time capsule created by them can be an important source for the historians who knows the, histori the historians of the future. Third, literature. Through creative writing exercises, students were encouraged to express their creative, creative potential and to develop their critical thinking, their imagination and self-expression. Last but, but not least, English, to write in letters, sharing their views and uh, discussing several talks in English with students from other countries uh, help us, our students develop their English language skills. In addition, and uh, as a byproduct, uh, this interaction contributed significantly to overcome any prejudices and uh, develop a spirit of uh, cooperation and solidarity among students of different cultural background. Now let's see uh, some of the main activities of our project. First of all, our students wrote letters to the future generation and uh, created uh, the book of messages, both in, print, in printed and electronic version. A student from Poland created the mascot of the project, Mr. Moll. All the other teams colored Miss Moll and wrote stories about his travel in Europe. 
in Czech uh, Republic, Mr. Moll met uh, the love of his life and he married her. Mr. and Mrs. Moll came in Greece for their honeymoon and the story is to be continued. The most common but very lovely activity was the Christmas handmade card exchange traditionally by post. Uh, the Greek team also created a video with uh, the traditional carols of our uh, country. We have also uh, organized photo contest and voting for the selection of the best. Alina Tsarucha was uh, the um, winner with this photo from her holidays in Lefkada, a marvelous island. The title of the uh, photo was That's Why I Love Greece, and I cannot agree more with this. We have um, copied it in order to create a calendar. Every month was a presentation of each partner's school. Another activity was the creation of the jar of happiness. You can see uh, the instructions about the days of uh, happiness to the next video. Give me a second. What's next? Sorry. I'm trying something something else. Uh, we have done uh, some brain, brainstorming activities uh, with dry cider and uh, many discussions uh, among students in order to prepare the capsule. And then we have to prepare it, <laughs> to prepare the time capsule. Let's uh, watch a video about that.
And then the big uh, day came and uh, we buried the time capsule, as you will see through the photos. The next video was uh, created uh, by the Greek team and it is a really funny, funny video. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. The thing is that we don't have the sound. We can't hear. We couldn't hear the previous video, Nancy. So I don't know if you can uh, even say it, send us, you know, the link. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, you don't uh, hear anything? You don't uh, hear anything? I think it's the specific uh, we can see. I mean, there's no... That's a pity because the music, a pity because is, very, the music is very, very special. So, 
our appointment is after so, 100 years. our appointment is after 100 years who knows what will happen with our time capsule after so many who knows times. what will happen with uh, our time capsule uh, uh, so many times uh, uh, i'm sorry but uh, i sorry but i hear, uh, my, I, voice. I hear uh, my voice uh, To evaluate the students' opinions about the project, uh, we ask them to describe their experience and evaluate their activities. Over 88 uh, of students consider the project a great adventure, and that it was amazing for us. The cooperation among the students of our and the partner schools um, was uh, completely successful. It should be noted that the ability of each student to work at home on his computer and his own will has greatly contributed to, to the successful implementation of the project. The interaction and the feedback from uh, its uh, partner school are, um, I think, that uh, are clearly reflected on the tree space since uh, each one posted several texts and uh, uploaded uh, photos, videos uh, from their activities. Without any doubt, uh, we, th we think that uh, the most uh, successful projects of uh, our project were the e-book, uh, which consists of the letters of its partner school, and of course the time capsules. The posts on uh, TwinSpace, on the official project website, on the blog of our school in Greek, and on the Czech web uh, page, were made directly accessible not only to the partner schools uh, but also to the local and uh, European community. Our project has been awarded with uh, both uh, the national label and the European quality. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Nasi. I only have one question. Have you left any clue to the school that somebody will have, you know, to dig and find something 100 years after, or, you know, whoever find it when he wants, you know, did he find, have you left any clue to the school? next generation, <laughs> the um, secret about the time capsule. Can you hear me, Irene? I Be nice. Can you hear me, Yes, Irene? yes. Mm. Yes, I'm just writing in the chat. Yes, that's an excellent idea. So your project will stay alive uh, for many, many years. <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> So. That's great. I don't know if you, if the others would like to ask something. If there is any question. I'm just seeing that uh, Despina and Svitlana are writing in the chat, but I'm just waiting to see. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, we're a little bit late, so uh, it's okay. 
Um, so, thank you both. I think it was a really, you know, great work and it's really nice, you know, to uh, give the opportunity to the teachers, you know, to the award, the teachers especially to present their work. Uh, so, thank you, uh, both of uh, you for doing that. And uh, I hope we will see some of you in the expert talk, which will be in the evening day, 9th of May. Uh, in case you haven't uh, registered, you will see that it's full, but uh, they will, CSS will open it to 100 more people. So have it in mind in case uh, you want to enter, that they will extend the number soon. So this will give the opportunity to more teachers to enter. And hope uh, you will uh, debate on this special topic that we have for the evening day with your students. I think it's really important to do that. And see you soon in uh, another meeting. And thank you once again for joining for our meeting today. So have a good night all. And see you soon. Bye.